down to through the generations to how the farm through a drought or how to farm through a factory. So they went to go work in the cities or they went to go work or they were forced to go here or they were sent to America or they were sent to India or they were sent some fucking where else. But that whole gap of their did, right? And the people that resided there and stayed, the new generation that was born into it, they didn't know how to do any of that shit. That's on record. It's not an assumption. That's on record. That happened. It's, it's, part, of the, it's part of the process that, that people be like, yo, this is why shit is fucked up, right? Um... And it's those instances where, yes, that's that's horrible, right? And when this drop comes, what do you do? I got to get aid from somewhere else. Who's going to give you that aid? You're probably going to get it from China or you're going to get it from this place. You're going to get it from that place. Okay, cool. Who's responsible for the agricultural revolution if you're getting your shit from America? It's African slaves. So Usman, leave me alone, man. Talking to you. Leave me alone, bro. I'm not here. I'm I'm done with that, man. I'm not I'm not even trying to entertain that. Lupe just Lupe just hear what I'm saying, bro. I hear what you're saying. The world is not just West. I hear what you're saying. I just gave you 80 perspectives. You just you just want to be right. Just say, look, man, I want to be right. This is what it is. You don't know what you're talking about. I want to have this power dynamic with you where we can p- pretend like we're having a conversation or exchanging information. But what I'm really trying to do is just become, I heard all the shit you said, but I'm going to just say one thing that trumps and calls into question all of the shit that you said, which makes me superior in this conversation. It's not a fucking debate. Anyway, we got like six minutes left. Yes, six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes, Dougie. Fresh your own. Uh, uh, um. Uh, uh, um. Uh, what is the Illuminati? The Illuminati is actual real thing. It's in Belgium, if I'm not mistaken. Started in Belgium, the Belgian Illuminati. It was a bunch of guys who got together, white guys, who had some power, mostly lords and different folks. They weren't necessarily the king. They weren't necessarily the superpower, but they might have been the merchants. But what they had was they had influence. They had influence on the people who wrote the laws, who controlled the people. At that time, people thought that these kings were divine from God and other stupid shit. So that's who they had. To, that's who really ran shit. You couldn't not be a king or not have divine blood or a divine lineage and just try and kill a nigga and come into power. It's just the people not going to fucking follow you because they like, why are we following this bitch nigga? He's not from God. Whereas that guy is from God. So, you know, we believe in God and we can't read. So, you know, what's the difference? So without having an educated populace, those guys probably wouldn't have been able to intellectualize themselves into creating a society. Whereas if you just believe like you don't have to read, I am, I'm from God, then they'll do what the fuck you say. Um, so you had those folks who were basically the viziers, like the, 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 uh, the, the, uh, the, what do they call them? Not necessarily the counselors, the advisors, Right. And they might have had their own little businesses and stuff like that. And basically, they discovered that if they clicked up and got together and pulled all of their influence, they would be able to just control shit from behind the scenes. Right. Um, And so that was an actual Illuminati. And then they covered it up with a bunch of esoteric bullshit and secret handshakes and and fuck shit and stories and myth and misleading bullshit and blah, blah, blah. Niggas niggas poured more into the shit than what it really was. It was a bunch of rich or semi-rich or influential motherfuckers getting together, uh, setting the conditions because they had access to the to the channels of power. And just because this king was from God, he could have been a real stupid motherfucker, right? So there's a difference. They had the intellect, but they didn't have the the divine right to rule. So what they did was like, look, we got the intellect, we got the smarts, we finna just train these motherfuckers. So something as simple as I'm going to teach we're gonna teach this particular king. His father was Catholic. So we're gonna try and bring in not necessarily full Protestant Protestantism to him. We'll teach him a more liberal version of Catholicism because that will have this relationship to our businesses and merchants. At the end of the day, it's all about self-interest, right? What can we do as merchants 
to put ourselves in a greater position based on the decisions of the royalties or the 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 the, the emperors or the whatever the fuck, right? And that's what the Illuminati basically is. But it was an actual real one. Everything that you see today, any group that does that, and there are groups that do that. I happen to be a part of one. There's other groups that do bigger shit. There's other groups who do less shit. Any of those people, but you got to have, you just can't have a, be a bunch of niggas with some secret handshakes. Even if you're rich, right? If you don't have the influence uh, and the charisma and the ear of power, um, or if you or you just um, if you're not powerful yourself, like you are the power player, like you make the decisions, then this shit's not gonna matter. You can come up with as many secret handshakes and secret spells and sex orgies all you want, but unless you have that 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 access to power, or you're not a person empowered yourself, then it doesn't matter. Got it? Got it. And sometimes it does start in uh, private schools, the Exeters and the, um, the, uh, the prep schools, the really high end shit. Um, a lot of that is preparation to put people into those circles of influence. Um, not saying that everybody's going to get into those circles, because, again, these people might be smart, but they might not have the divine right to rule. They might not have the charisma. They might be smart, but they might not have the money. And so what you do is you put you put these pe- you put all of these people with specific specific extremes or values. You put you congregate them all in the same place. Right. And their father might have the power or their father might be super smart or their mother might have the political will or this person might have that. And what you do is you pull all those folks together and hopefully they'll inherit some of that shit. And it's basically where just weeding out who's going to be the leaders and who's not. So. Where does the name Africa come from? I think it comes from uh, it's Greek. Some shit like that. It's Greek or Roman. I don't know. I forgot. Ugh. Let's see. We got one minute. Let's do one more real quick. Uh, do you think dairy is actually linked to acne and other problems? Um, I believe I believe I believe all things that you put into your body have an effect on your body. Right. If you put a bullet in your body at high speed, it'll fucking destroy some organs. If you swallow a bullet at slow speeds. Right. And it goes just into your stomach. It ain't gonna do shit to you. Just gonna shit it out. Um, Again, if you drink a bunch of fucking milk. Um, with a bunch of hormones and a bunch of other shit that's added into it and all kinds of other crazy shit, then it might have an adverse effect on your body. If you drink some pure straight, straight out of cow's back, maybe not. Who knows, right? What are you, are you cooking with the milk? Are you drinking it straight? Has it been homogenized? Has it been pasteurized? Has it not? Is it raw? Is it this? Is that? So it's levels to the shit, right? So, but does, does everything have an effect on your body? Yes. Everything that you do, everything that you, everything that you eat, everything that you consume has some effect on your body, a plus or a negative or a neutral, Right. Neutral meaning that it might not have a, a a positive or negative effect. It just it you're just heavier when you eat that shit, right? Eventually you it'll pass through you and you'll be less heavy once it's done. It, does it is it a, is it a positive? Or, can you count that as a positive or negative? No, is it an effect? Absolutely. And uh, coronavirus is still a thing. Make sure that you're practicing physical distancing. Make sure you wear a mask. Covers the mouth and the nose. Condolences to the folks who've passed during this time. If you're sick, hope you're on the road to recovery and doing better. Uh, fortunately, coronavirus, blah, blah, blah. Coronavirus is still a thing. Make sure that you're practicing physical distancing. Make sure you wear a mask. Covers the mouth and the nose. Condolences to the folks who've passed uh, during this time. Our prayers are with you and your families. If you're sick, hope you're on the road to recovery and doing better. Um, coronavirus is still a thing. Make sure that you wear a mask. Coronavirus is still a thing. Make sure that you're practicing physical distancing. Coronavirus is still a thing. Coronavirus is still a fucking thing. Coronavirus is still a thing. Make sure that you're practicing physical distancing. Make sure that you wear a mask that covers the mouth and the nose. Condolences to the folks who've passed during this time. Our prayers are with you and your family. If you're sick, 
Hope you're on the road to recovery and doing better. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people with coronavirus. Fortunately, because there's a lot of people with coronavirus, there's a lot of people who've got past coronavirus. There's a lot of people who've recovered. The majority of people have recovered from coronavirus. Yes. Um, with that said, you have a story to tell. You're the expert. They haven't recovered fully. Not everyone. Some people are still feeling lingering effects of the disease because the disease is out of their body, but the damage that the disease has done to their body while it was in their, in their body is still there. So people are still suffering from coronavirus, even though they don't have coronavirus anymore. So um, share your story. You know, you've probably learned some things, what works, what didn't work. NyQuil is bullshit. This actually works. NyQuil actually works, but just don't use it when you do this. Like those little things, uh, whether you've been hospitalized, you had to deal with it at home, whether you're a young guy or older person, a woman, a duck, um, people are going to go through it in their own ways. But there might be something to your story and something that you did if somebody's sitting somewhere suffering in silence, don't know what to do. Internet is putting them in 20 different ways. They're throwing their phone in the fucking freezer, all kinds of stupid shit that people are probably doing um, because they're going off of the what people think it should be versus people who've actually went through the shit. So if you're one of those people who have went through it, please share your story, share your information. Um, you never know who is going to help um, and why and where. Okay? Uh, House EP, House is myself and Kayla Ellis, featuring Virgil Abloh, Crystal Torres, and Grant Burris. is available right now on Amazon Music uh, and Apple Music. So make sure you go get that. Yeah? Again, this whole chat, this IGTV is just to challenge some concepts, express myself, but it's, it's the sole purpose of this is to get you in the mind state that Corona shit is real, okay? At the end of the day, everything that we do in and between is really just to preface and support that message and keep you engaged so you can hear me say that coronavirus is still a thing. Um, so no, hopefully no feelings hurt. If they are, you know, sorry. Peace.